Hi hey guys, welcome to another deck guide. Today I will showcase you these bird elusives that I saw from somewhere. But before that, please subscribe to the channel because 91.4% of viewers are not yet subscribed. Bird decks are a new archetype that uses chive to get stats once you draw it. Stats are generally good for elusive decks since there is a limited amount of blockers for these keywords. The deck consists of Bard and Zed as their main champions. Bard gives us chime, then Zed will gl gladly receive the chime. Unironically, this deck is the second most popular deck in the current format right now. The followers include the chime followers and followers that greatly benefit with stats. Chime followers include Beard the Bell Ringer, Esmus the Breath of the World, and Maduli the Gatekeeper. These are the Chime followers alongside Mystic Vortex as the Chime landmark. The units that benefit from buffs are units known as Nagori Highwayman, Shadow Assassin, Young Witch, Green Glade Duo, and Kinko Lifeblade. Generally, these units are elusive units and lifesteal units because added stats are beneficial to these units because it can either deal damage to opponent or heal, heal your nexus by connecting the elusive the lifesteal units. Sainen Thousand Tail is a special unit in this deck because it gives us two cards and it also turbo levels up our bard. Notables, notable spells in the decks that you have to take notes are Concussive Palm because it stops a powerful unit from opponent Spirit's Refuge grants barrier and lifesteal to a unit that is possibly well statted Deny for stopping important spells or skills Twin Disciplines for pushing more damage in combat or protecting a unit from removal and Syncopation for swapping unblock units to navigate lethal Another, another spell that we have to remember here is Ionia Tailstones for the flexibility it provides. So to round out the deck composition it consists of 20 To round out the deck composition it consists of 28 units and 9 spells alongside 3 landmarks. So now let's talk about Mulligan. For Mulligan, in any matchup, look for your early units like Beard and Esmus so that you can start putting chimes into your deck as well as become the early attacker or blocker. You will also benefit keeping elusive from your hand such as Shadow Assassins because when you possibly when you drop Shadow Assassin at turn 3, there is a chance that it could get the buff from chime. Alongside its effect, it draws as a card so it is very good to keep in your starting hand. For the win condition, there are few known win conditions in this deck that you have to be aware to be a successful bard player. So the first one is winning with stats through elusive damage. That is the easiest way to play the game. Decks that doesn't have elusive blockers are automatically a win for us. The second win condition is a little bit hidden or trickier. It is attacking with a wide board, then after opponent blocks, you can use syncopation so that you can swap your units to sneak the lethal from opponent. To showcase how this deck works, I have example gameplay for you guys. We are still in platinum rank, we're chilling here alongside other former masters.
Your eyes on the horizon and your feet on the ground. My friend and I are soul collectors. Times are tough. Just looking out for the public.
heard you're new in the area. Those rockets look awful heavy. In this timeline, we're sure to save Ikathia. away like grains of sand. Carrots <gasps> can fly, Riv! Okay, okay! Ah! <sighs> Pledge yourself to the shadows. Shadow. 